This is just eyeball, okay? Then the other one. I just flip over. All right, so this will be our. Yeah, there's our the other point. Okay, again, I'm, I'm just eyeballing this. Okay, so this is our this point over here. Is our stress average one? Then this point over here is our stress average two, right? So if you know where where your center of your circle is, right, you can calculate stress y one and stress y two, the possible stresses. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm go I'm from here, right? We know, right? I'm going to stretch the line. Right, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna come on. I want to look at the line. I I don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna stretch it. I know the center, right? I'm gonna stretch it. Once you know the center of the circle, you can determine where your okay. So over here, this is my possible stress y1 value. One of it. And that is good news. What is the good news? The good news is that it's within the what? within the boundary. So this is a good stress, right? And then the other one, okay, the other one has gone to North Korea. <laughs> okay, so I, I'll stretch this out. Why I stop over here? Because it has to intercept the sphere, right? So this is the what? Stress what? Y2. And you know stress Y2 is no good now, yes or no, right? It deflected from south to north, or it one went from north to south. Either way, you think you decide, right? So from here, you can calculate stress y one and stress y two. Okay. So how to calculate? If you look at this point, okay. All right. I'm going to draw two vertical lines. Listen, it's not difficult. Okay. It's easy to construct. It's easy to understand. Don't don't be switched off already. Okay. Don't like, oh man, seriously. Don't look at the solution, okay? The solution will, will, will mess up your mind. So now we know the distance from here to here. Right? So this we calculate is our actual omega. Right? And then this distance from the center from here to here is also our omega. Okay? So now we can calculate stress y1 and stress y y2. Okay. So from here, stress y1 will be equal to uh will be equal to min minus 6.557 because this is the first average, yes or no? Right? Then you plus it's going towards the right hand side by omega 63.443. No, listen, let me write out the formula for you guys. Okay. So stress average one. Okay. Plus by omega. Okay. So this will be equal to uh, minus 6.557 plus by 63.443. Okay. So 6.557 minus 6.557 plus 63.443. So it's equal to 56.886 megapascal for one. And then stress Y2 is going to stress average number two minus by omega because it's going towards the left hand side. Okay, so so this is the other this is the other center of the circle, stress uh average two, right? So stress y2 is equal to minus 133.443 minus 63.443. Okay, so 133.44. 3.443 is equal to minus 196.886 megapascal. Okay. So now this is what we have calculated. We found the values. Okay. Then you draw the circle. Okay. You draw the mole circle. So I'm going to take the mole circle. 75. So this is one circle. Hold on. Oi. Okay, so this is one of the circle. Okay, 
Okay. And I'm going to draw another circle. This computer is really messing with me. I think sometimes it's the user, you know. Go up, go up, go up. And this is the other circle. Hey, one circle. Why is the other circle so weird? Probably have not moved to the average yet. Probably I overshot. Okay, probably it's not that accurate the diagram. Okay, hold on because it's one what one three three. Ah, my center of the circle is a bit off. Okay. It's me, okay? This one is me, it's not the computer, no. Okay, so you should intersect over here. Okay, because I, I, I took my average, it should be here. Okay, 133. Three. I'm too close to, yeah. Okay, so this is the stress one two. And this is where you can see what? This is when we can see stress Y2, right? It's not possible. Okay, so outside the u stress okay and this is by doing more circle okay and then now we can construct 3d so this circle over here is invalid you cannot use this one and this one is what valid and then some of you okay eugene you got us there we got it now now how do we construct 3d more circle now right how do we construct 3d more circle so over here, this is for your XY plane. OK, this is for your XY plane. Then I'm going to draw another circle, right? So from X to Y, so you got two, four, four, wait, 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 uh, two, four, six, seven, a bit of seven greater than seven is uh, 3.5. So I'm going to draw the other two circle. Okay, I'm going to get, draw the other two circle, 3.5 and a bit out. So 3.5. Do uh, 3.5 and a bit out. All right. So this circle now, they have just drawn. Okay. This circle now they've just drawn. This is for your Y Z plane. <sighs> Sorry, color blind. I can't. Yeah, I do a part. So this is our Y Y Z plane because it touches your Z, and when Y come over here, Y is your acute angle. Acute means less than ninety degrees. Okay, it says Y Z plane, and then the other one is wait, uh, eighty four. Four, four and a bit. And the other one, okay, four and a bit. Okay, this is your, this is your X, Z plane. Right, why is that? Because the X coming to the neutral axis is an acute angle. Okay, so that's it. Right, how many formula we use? Can you all see? How many formula? Not even formula, high school math. High school, yeah. Now you go back over here. The values are what? The value is 68.44 that we got. And the other one is not possible is the what? Uh, the other one that's not possible is uh, 208.44. Did we have those value? Right? 196.886 and 56.886. So 56.886. Do we have 56.886? So we have 56.886 is here. Right? Can you see where I highlight? And the other value is 133.44. There you go. So this value is not valid. Not 133. Uh, there's one more. Did we calculate the other one? 
What is the other one? Minus six. Minus one minus six. Do we have reject? Hey? The reject. Where it says reject. Minus. Oh minus yeah, six. the reject. There you go. So you guys decide what you want to use, you know. Holy cow, yeah. They can visualize the mole circle in math. I can't, okay. The only one that could is probably your math teacher. I can't do that, okay. So what do you think? What do you want to use? Anyone? Mole circle or you want to go to this? More circle. Yeah, look at our math, right? It's so simple for crank out. Okay, so there's not that this is this is one point. So the next one. Okay, the next one is where you need to know the rules of the circle. These people that construct this, they know the rules of the circle so well. They, they do. Don't tell me, don't get me wrong. Their mathematical knowledge is very high to able to do this. I'm not those, okay? I'm like you and me. The only thing is I'm older, I do more problems than you. That's it, okay? Now, we will do the next one, okay? So, now, if some of you have to go, you go. It's recorded. Some of you want to stay, you stay, okay? Right. So now the next one, okay, so there's only one value. We need to find another one, okay? So we're going to find another one. Sir? Yes? Can we use CAD for drawing the Mohr circle? You can use whatever, man. As long as you show me the calculation, simple calculation like this, right? Yeah, you can use CAD, you can use DOC, you can use whatever. I'm not, I'm not bothered, okay? Book it, book yes. it, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, you can use red, you can use what? Uh, yeah, I love fish or whatever. You do it, okay? You get me the right answer. That's all I bother. Right, so the next one, so we have to find another value. So we just realized that this value is not possible, right? This value is not possible. And now you know why it's not possible because it is where? It is at no man's land, right? It's outside. And then once it's outside, uh, we, can't, we can't use it anymore, can we? Okay. So now we're going to find another value. The next value we're going to apply is we're going to apply the rules of the circle. I repeat again, we are going to apply the rules of the circle. Okay. So, so now, what do I mean by rules of the circle? So remember when we draw earlier, okay, we draw this earlier. All right. Before we start, where is it? Uh, right. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Okay. And we are going into the rules. And I'm going to paste it here. Yeah, I'm going to paste this here. Yeah, I'm going to paste it as, as a... Uh, it always does this to me, you know, Microsoft. Come on, guys, please. <sighs> Again, okay. Okay, I'm going to paste like this then. Now you work, you cheeky sort. Okay, so this is the rules of the circle. Okay, so this solution we're going to apply based on the rules of the circle. Okay, as I say, those people that do the solution manual, they are brighter than me. I would say, yeah, it is true, they are brighter than me. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to do things simple, and yet the final outcome is still the same. Okay, so now we are going to base on the next one, we are going to base on. On, on a certain category. I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw the points first, okay? I'm not going to draw the whole circle. I'm just going to draw half. Okay? I'll tell you why I draw half of them later on. Okay? Normal stress. Shear stress. Okay? So, uh, minus 20. Minus 40. Minus 60. 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, okay? My wife is cooking something that smells so good that I'm so hungry, okay? And I understand you guys. You guys will say, yeah, I'm hungry too. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, okay, so I'm going to draw no man's land again, okay, no man's land, okay, so no man's land is, I'm going to use uh, red, okay, so no man's land is minus 50, so we, we, we cannot go out here, we go out here, we're, 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 we're going to do uh, slave labor, okay, I hope 
you guys uh, will enjoy the comedy and help you remember, okay? The things that I remember when I was undergrad, when the prof do comedy, it will 